Hello again. This is my personal design for a experience point farming device. Um, this little contraption here is to make sure that mobs won't jump at this point and get different amount of falling damage each time hitting the ground. Um, let's start it. This one. So you see not very complicated or special. So every time they hit, hit the ground here, uh, they will have just enough to survive the ground hitting. Every hit will instantly kill them. So exactly what we want. You can also use this Designed to um, make any amount of falling damage you want. One block deeper and they will die. One block higher and you would need two hits. And so on. So, of course this works. For normal experience farms. But I want it as automatic as possible. And therefore, we need arrows. Uh, this makes it semi automatic. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out a better way. But for now, this is the best I can do. I think you might already know what I want to do. Um, down here, we have a clock and a piston. So these arrows will over, will constantly be updated and float around and can hit everything that's in there. Since these arrows would, were casted by me originally, they um, count as my personal attack. And every mob they kill will lose experience points or orbs. Or yeah, that's a problem. Uh, they need to get hit by the arrows, so maybe you won't. So, you see. Uh, problem is, the arrows get well, uh, used by this, so you need to refill the arrows from time to time. But, you can go away. For a short amount of time and just let the mobs die in your trap and produce experience points. Oh yeah, uh, in here just mob spawners. It's for testing so you would need your mob farm or whatever you have. experience points works and since you only need one hit you need one arrow per mob and since aggressive mobs produce I believe five points per kill you will get five experience points per arrow, so one stack of arrows means 300 experience points means, well, I don't know how much levels oh, and uh, you can, of course, since these arrows are floating you can collect the items the mobs will drop without collecting the arrows wouldn't be possible this way See. Yeah, that's all.